Rajnath Singh arrives in Moscow tomorrow. Now, the U.S. Embassy has reacted to BJP's remarks on OCCRP, U.S. State Department Association. Uh, the U.S. Uh, embassy has said that it is deeply disappointing that the ruling party in India would make this kind of accusations. Now, the BJP had claimed that uh, the OCCRP functions as a media tool for carrying out deep state agendas, particularly against India. Those are, in fact, uh, the big developments in this case where the US, uh, uh, through the embassy in India, has reacted to BJP's attack on uh, the United States of America, the government and its association with the OCCRP. Now, this uh, had also, the, uh, the BGP had also spoken about how state figures like George Soros and Rockefeller Foundation were in with the State Department, with the US government in using OCCRP uh, as a tool by funding it and uh, carrying out some deep state agendas. All right, so these are, uh, the, this is the big statement. This comes just days after the BJP remarked that the OCCRP and the US State Department deep states destabilizing India remark that came. This was a direct attack on the US state government, US government that uh, the U.S. government was uh, utilizing tools such as the OCCRP to destabilize India. The U.S. Embassy further said that the government of United States of America works with independent organizations on programming that supports professional development and capacity building training for journalists. Mendi on the telecast with me. Mendi, uh, give us details. You know, the U.S. Embassy uh, condemning the allegations made by India, uh, by the BJP that rules uh, uh, the country at this point of time is at the par, uh, has a government set up in India saying that this is a false claim that has been made by India. This was by BJP. This, this is after the BJP accused the United States of America and the OCCRP of functioning together. OCCRP being funded by the US State Department for destabilizing India. Well, yes, Megha, you know, the U.S. has reacted very sharply to the Bharti Janata Party's allegation that the U.S. State Department was behind the targeted attacks against Prime Minister Narendra Modi and also Indian businessman uh, businessman Gautam Adani, denying the accusations and saying they were disappointing. And also, Megha, in response to the series of the social media posts released by the BJP on the X platform, which including accusations that it was behind an investigative reporting portal, OCCR, the U.S. government has said that it has been a champion of media freedom around the world and also it does not influence editorial decisions by these organizations. And, uh, you know, the spokesperson for the U.S. Embassy in New Delhi has also made the statement that uh, it is very disappointing to see that how the ruling party in India would make these kinds of accusations. And also it has been said that the U.S. has long been a champion of media freedom around the world and a free and independent press is an essential component of any democracy enabling informed and also constructive debate and holding uh, those in power right. accountable these are the words of the uh, uh, spokesperson of the embassy okay. yes Miga. all right thanks mandy for giving us those details now in a bizarre move king charles has stripped